Well, folks, uh, joining us now to uh, to give an assessment on the events unfolding in Russia and Ukraine is Congressman Mike Waltz. He's a member of the House Armed Services Committee and a decorated special forces officer. He serves as the uh, 6th Congressional District uh, of Florida, the congressman from uh, the 6th Congressional District. He joins us now by phone. Congressman Waltz, uh, thanks so much for joining us this afternoon. Hey, good to be with you, Tony. Thanks. Thanks much. So the, these sanctions that President Biden is talking about now, too little, too late. Uh, what do they need to be? What do they need to look like to be effective at this point? Well, overall, I do think they're too little, too too late. As as President Ukrainian President Zelensky said over the weekend, uh, you know, what are you waiting for? <laughs> to uh, to Vice President Harris and and all of the European leaders. Uh, gathered clearly Biden's policy of holding back on sanctions as a deterrent measure has failed. Uh, and, and many of us have been calling uh, for those sanctions to get put in place months ago. Tony, what you do is you put those sanctions in place in phases uh, and you start ratcheting them up as Putin starts gathering uh, and threatening his neighbors and gathering his forces. And then at the negotiating table, you pull those sanctions back as he de-escalates. Uh, but, but this crew that's in the White House uh, you know, doesn't understand how to use leverage, doesn't understand how our adversaries think, that they smell weakness, they see opportunity. And uh, Putin is doing it now, uh, just as he did in 2014, because he knows he can get away with it. And just very quickly, on the sanctions themselves, uh, at least it was a step. Uh, we've gone from minor incursion to actually calling it what it is, which is a, a, an invasion, a land invasion in Europe. Uh, and I agree with your previous guest. Go after the oligarchs, every yacht, every villa, every soccer team, every vacation home in the Swiss Alps, uh, and, and go after Putin's inner circle. But the other portions of the sanctions, for example, the sanctions on Russia's debt, uh, their balance sheet is in the best uh, shape in Russia uh, nationally than it's been in a long time because they're cash rich because of the high price of oil. Uh, and that is a direct result of Biden's failed energy policy. What other steps can the U.S. take? I mean, it looks pretty clear right now that uh, Vladimir Putin is not going to stop in these two breakaway uh, districts. Are they going to do, do you think he's going to move forward? Well, I have to tell you, I mean, just from a from a military standpoint, uh, keeping that many troops, I mean, it's estimated to be about 70 to 75 percent, three quarters of his entire military, uh, not to mention multiple fleets from the Pacific uh, and the Arctic. He's moved all the way around into the Mediterranean, keeping those logistically in the high state of readiness that they are as incredibly expensive to do for a long time. Uh, so if he's going to move, he's going to have to move quickly. And we need to be making the point that this is going to be difficult. It's going to be a quagmire. And we'll continue to support the Ukrainians with lethal aid. Well, and uh, Congressman Waltz, uh, we're up against a break. But I know we're going to be talking uh, more about this in the, uh, the days ahead. Always appreciate having you on the program uh, to share your insight and uh, wisdom with us uh, on these issues. Absolutely, Tony. Thanks so much.